Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of One on One Cho, the podcast edition. Yes guys, podcast na siya. Available on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and of course the video format on YouTube. This is a podcast where we will be talking about faith, family, health, and of course show business. Excited na ako dahil ang dami kong nakaline up na guest for you guys na I'm sure kilalang kilala nyo at mga kwentuhan natin sila about these much deeper things about you know family, faith, health, and show business and generally their journey on this earth. And of course, my very first guest is very much close to home. She lives in this home. <laughs> Yan ang aking asawa na si Joy Spring Trevino. One of the pioneers of Philippine podcasting. Siya ang main reason kung bakit ako nagpa-podcast ngayon. At uh, dito sa interview natin, we will be talking about a little bit of current events. The GMA Ball, the recently concluded importance of relationships, content creating, especially the videos that we've been coming up with that have been getting millions of views recently. And of course, the husband and wife, who is the boss dynamic. So guys, enjoy my episode with Mrs. Joy Spring Trevino. Hindi ko alam ba't ako kinakabahan? Kinakabahan ako. Hindi. Ha? Ba't ako kakabahan? Ikaw yan. Bibilayo mo na naman sa mic. Okay. Okay. Game. Okay, guys. Medyo kinakabahan ako. <laughs> Bakit? Hindi ko na kailangan i-introduce ang aking uh, first guest of the podcast. I had to pull a lot of strings. I mean, a lot of strings just for you to be here. Para lang ma, mapaunlakan mo ang aking first episode. You're making me sound bad. <laughs> I had to wash the dishes. I had to, <laughs> I had to walk the dog. I had yes. to... Ayan. Yun yung strings na sinasabi ko. Yes, that's true. That's uh, true. They all make sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, mga duties as a husband yan. So anyway, welcome. This... Is my first time doing a podcast. This is my first episode. Uh, love, I'm doing a podcast, oh. Yeah, I'm so happy. And <laughs> what else? What else are you feeling that now that I'm doing a podcast? I mean, finally, I feel like I feel like I've been wanting you to have a podcast and you know just create stuff online for so long mm-hmm. and for you to actually initiate this i didn't even push him yeah to create his own why why are you so why is your body language like uh, that? Nick, as i mentioned i'm so weird so this is my weird. first time again so just bear with me siguro mas maging comfortable ako as the show goes on and as the show show goes on a couple of days even more but uh-huh. uh, sa ngayon ito siya Eto kaya siya. kaya mo yan. <laughs> Wanch is a very good host. You're a very good host. I don't know why. I don't know why you're you're ano kinakabahan. Actually, na, it just brings to mind right now. Remember when we so we hosted your sister's wedding <laughs> without the <a> script. <laughs> And I remember one of the funniest things I had to endure was afterwards, your mom came up to me. Mommy Patty came up to me. He's like, you guys are so good together. Parang may ano eh. Ano ma? Chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> Sana naman, no? <laughs> Hindi na natin majudjudge yun kung wala. Too late for that. <laughs> Too late for that. Wala na kami magagawa kung walang chemistry. So. Okay, anyway. Um, uh, let's start. Kakatapos lang ng... GMA Ball. Oh. Taray. Uh, oh, oh siyempre. Siyempre. Relevant. Oh, uh, oh. Rubbing elbows with the stars. Rubbing elbows. <laughs> and how was the GMA Ball for you? Anxiety inducing. <laughs> but fun. A lot of fun, actually. I think that's my first... I, I'm, I know it's my first time being back in that circle since I got pregnant. Actually, since the pandemic started. Oh. So since the pandemic started, I hadn't gone back to TV, 
no, actually, since I got pregnant, I hadn't gone back to TV. And when I, you know, when I would do mga TV guest things, all Zoom, all online, you know, everything was just, di ba, gumagawa tayo dito sa bahay lang. So, first time for me to see a lot of the celebrities, bosses, people that I used to work with, our friends from GMA. And it was honestly anxiety-inducing for me dahil I was so, I've, I, I'm still, still self-conscious. As in, sobrang dinadread ko actually yung GMA ball. Kasi, the last thing that I want is to feel even more insecure with my body. Mm. Which is, I already feel that way because obviously, I gained a lot of weight. I'm a mom now. Like, it's, it's a whole different ball game basically for me. And my looks has, it's not been my top priority for the past two years. My top priority has been taking care of our family, taking care of Aliam, breastfeeding. Like, I'm still breastfeeding now that Liam is 13 months old. So, parang, grabe yung anxiety ko. To the point na, I was telling you, diba, na ikaw na lang pumunta kasi ayoko mag-attend. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I had the option to, I just, I didn't want to attend. So, but when I was there, I, I had a lot of fun. You know, I had a lot of fun. We went there with, we went there together. Mm-hmm. It was really nice dressing up, getting to eat free dinner. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, marami, marami tayong kwento uh, leading up to the GMA Ball. Mm-hmm. We found out about it para mga two months prior. Yes. At kahit nung nag-Europe tayo, we took that opportunity to uh, invest in good uh, good clothes, good uh, good shoes. Kasi gagamitin nga natin ng GMA Ball. Yeah. And it was so funny kasi... You, oh, you did. Uh, the, uh, I you, didn't. Uh, you didn't, ba? No, I didn't buy anything. Ah, okay. okay. For GMA Ball specifically. Uh, for GMA yeah. Ball specifically. Pero yun nga yung isa sa mga conversation natin. Ang daming kwento leading up to the GMA Ball na okay natin pag-usapan. Aha. Uh-huh. Maraming nakakatuwang kwento katulad nun. At saka yung pinaka gusto kong kwento, uh, yung, uh, eto, sinasabi mo nga na ayaw mo. Mm-mm. Pero pagdating ng araw, <laughs> <laughs> five minutes lang ako nag Si Joyce, three hours sila nag At saka, grabe, sinurprise niya pa ako nag, <laughs> nag-rent or humiram sila ng, ng G, GNC. Yukon. Na y- Yukon na malaking I don't know. I, I'm I'm not a car expert. It's just a big, big fancy car. Okay, so just just to be fair to me, girls always get ready longer than guys. Okay, that's one. Second, we both know na yun yung personality ko talaga. It's either I'm not gonna do it at all or I'm gonna go hard at it. <laughs> Go hard or go. I'm always go hard or go home. So I was like, if I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna do this thing. So I did. <laughs> yeah. So katulad ng sinabi mo, masaya nga. Nung nandun na tayo sa event, uh, mga key takeaways ko, sobrang, sobrang, matagal ko nang alam to, pero the, the veteran actors are usually yung... Super friendly. Super friendly, no? Yeah. Grabe yeah. sila, Tita Boots Anson Roa, sila direct Ricky Dava. When, when, you know, to, to, to my delight, and, not, and I'm not saying anybody's less friendly, pero sila yung parang, when you talk to them, when you talk to these veteran actors, they're so warm, eh. Parang, parang ibang klase yung connection that they're trying to build. And it's so, I, fe- I felt it was so genuine. Yeah, that's true. I think also our generation, kasi, or even younger generations than them, medyo we tend to be cliquish. Parang we stick to the group that we know. Yeah. You know, pag may barkada, pag may kakilala, dun ka na didiretso eh. And I find na yung mga veteran actors, or even older people in general, in my experience, mas open sila dun sa getting to know new people, di ba? Being, yeah. being friendlier to the younger yeah. people. They're always open to have conversations, give advice, di ba? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Medyo mas, ano sila, what's the word? Irreverent? I have a theory. Ano? Ang theory ko ay mas less intimidated na kasi yung mga veteran actors. Uh, yeah. You know, so they're so comfortable and established in who they are Mm-mm. na they don't find it difficult anymore to create new connections yeah. or they don't get intimidated 
by anybody anymore. Kahit gano'n ka pa kalaking artista or hindi ka man artista. Like, they don't really care because they know who they are so much. Like, they're so established in who they are. As compared to yung mga younger celebrities and artistas, I, f- I feel bad for some of them kasi nababrand sila na, ah, maldita or hindi mabait. But in reality, feeling ko intimidated lang din sila. Like, they, they don't know how to start conversations, di ba? Because if you're young and you're constantly in the spotlight, you've I'm sure you've heard all sorts of comments and all of these you've gone through a lot so parang worry ka na of how to deal with other people hindi mo alam kung safe siyang per- di get what I'm saying wag na tayong lalayo ano ako mismo ganon <laughs> Ba? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, katulad ng sinabi ko sa'yo I'm easily intimidated mm-hmm. alam na alam mo yan uh, way before pa and it ganon mismo na brand na ako na uh, hindi na mamansin, suplado. Yeah. And it's it's my defense mechanism because I am also afraid. Mm-hmm. Kaya kapag pupunta ako ng mga social events na yun, not not just this one time na parang feel na feel ko na safe ako dahil kasama kita, na komportable komportable ako because I was with you already. Even in the other GMA parties that we've went went to, unang hahanapin ko siya na Mikoy. Yeah. Ano si Mikoy? Punta ako sa table nila. May mga table ako na parang hindi ko talaga sasadyain na tingnan kasi parang, oh my gosh, nandun si ano, nandun si, si ganito, nakakatakot or na, nakaka-intimidate, nahihiya ako and, yeah. and all those uh, excuses. So, I get that point. That's a really good theory and it's it's correct in my, in my book. Yeah, because I feel like I mean, it's an intimidating room to be in anyway, di ba? Yeah. At, from the very get-go. So, parang yun nga, yun din yung napansin ko sa'yo na a lot of people think na you're masungit. But I'm just like, no guys, he's very socially awkward and shy. And a lot of people don't know that about you because you work in, you know, you you work in the public space. So parang asum ka agad ng mga tao. Dapat friendly ka. Dapat, dapat ano ka, chatterbox ka. Hindi talaga. He's just so socially awkward. Mahiya and six foot one. Handsome dude who just happened to stumble upon show business. It's just not in his blood. So I, I tend to assume na madaming mga artista ang ganon. Yeah. You know, na they'd like to create a connection but they're just not They're not that type. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't take it against them super. Maraming factors that uh, that uh, Parang ako, di ba? Shy type. Hindi <laughs> ka shy type. <laughs> Having a hard time starting conversations. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, since now we're talking about veteran actors and we're recording this on August 6, August 5, yesterday, Uh-huh. Miss uh, Sherry Hill passed away mm-hmm. and you know may may kwento kami about that hindi ko again hindi ko pa rin alam kung paano napunta tayo sa topic yesterday at 5 pm na napagkwentuhan namin siya ni Joyce and my sister but we did we did not know the news then pero napagkwentuhan namin siya and um Kinwento ko sa inyo yung episode na ginawa namin sa Bubble Gang na sina- na anak niya ako. Na pinost ko sa, sa Instagram stories ko earlier today na et, I don't know what what happened, di ba? I, do you remember? I don't remember for the life of me. I can't remember what we were talking about. Pero yun nga. So, Mystery Hill passed away yesterday. Or at least it was announced that she passed away. And... For some weird reason, going home, and I know it was 5 p.m. because we were trying to um, reach home before Liam's bedtime. We started talking about her and you started off the conversation. Dito nag-uumpisa yung memory ko, which is, you said, Grabe, sobrang na-intimidate ako kay Ms. Shelly Hill nung nakatrabaho ko siya. Yeah. Diba? You yes. said that. And then, we went on na pinanood natin kay Pia yung episode. You were laughing at it pa. Diba? Mm-hmm. And then, you were telling the story that she said you looked like her son. Etc. Et And we had like a good maybe 20, 30, 20-minute conversation, yeah. 30-minute conversation about her. And while we were watching the episode. So, it was such a shock to me. Akala ko, eh, si Ate Flor, yung isang helper namin dito sa bahay. Kasama namin siya sa kotse. So, naririnig niya yon. Mm-hmm. Tapos, we proceeded, tapos, we proceeded to have date night 
And then, pagdating natin sa bahay around 10pm, yun yung pangbungad sa akin ni Ate Flor. Mm. Na, oh, nagpasa away na si Michelle Hill. I thought she was just having like, I thought she was being taklesa. Honestly, akala ko fake news. Parang na, hoax, eh, no? Oo, na parang hoax. Tapos parang, nagme-make lang siya ng story or something dahil pinag-uusapan natin sa kotse like literally a few hours ago. Yeah. But then when we checked it, it was true. So parang sobrang... It was so shocking to me. It was so shocking. Pero again, neither one of us um, are close to Miss Sherry Hill. But from the sh- stories that I've heard um, about her, mm-hmm. sila Miko is close to her, sila Cherry Solomon, a lot of your friends apparently is yeah. close to her also. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, Today, when I was checking my my Instagram, so but and dami, and daming nag nag come out and say that you know we 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 loved her. She she was so close to us, and I have a I have an assumption about how she is, and this is based from how Mikoy described her. Okay. See, si Miss Sherry Hill goes out of her way talaga to take care of relationships. So much, so much, as in sobrang intimate level. You know why? When Mikoy and sila Miss Sherry Hill had the show, that four months, they would go out every night with the whole cast. They will uh, drink in their bar. Umaabot pa sa point na nagiiyakan sila. And kahit yung, yung isang friend ko, si, uh, si Claudia, close pala sa kanya. Tapos parang, Sobrang ate ko siya, gano'n na, uh, she really took care of me, nakikita ko, bisita siya sa, sa, uh, sa kanila, and, and even your friend si Joel, diba, and, and all these other stories. And having said this, obviously, ito yung siyempre assumption natin sa kanya, it just goes to show that relationships are really important. Yeah. Diba? Yeah, it's crazy because I I never knew her. I never met her even. But I know a lot of people who were close to her. And all of them had the same sentiment. She was this incredibly giving soul that mm. you know, went out of her way to build healthy relationships. And grabe, parang nakakaroon, nagkakaroon ako ng reflection on our mortality and what really matters. Kasi parang at the end of the day, yun yung gusto mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. Now, when you pass away, people remember you as someone who cared. Yeah. And you're not apathetic na dumaan ka lang sa buhay ng tao. Yung talagang kilala ka nila as someone who was present yeah. and who was willing to build a relationship with them. Ang dami nagkatawag sa kanya ng uh, queen because how she carries she's herself. iconic man she she's iconic she she looks like a queen and based from how she is um you know being so loving towards other people she really does feel like a queen mm. like in 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 my eyes she'll be missed sorely missed Babe. yeah so anyway on to uh, another topic in my handy dandy notebook. Sa mga nanonood sa YouTube, ito po ang aking show notes. Ginawa ko po ito habang uh, pinapatulog ni Liam si Joyce. Huh? It's the other way around. <laughs> o nga pala. Second half yun, second half. Anyway. Maybe it's the other way. Pinapatulog ko si Liam. Ay, okay. So, okay mo pinapatulog ni Liam si Joyce. Sa po. Pinapatulog ni Joyce si Liam. Okay. Anyway, uh, on to another topic. Recently, napapansin ko, siguro for the past month, month and a half, I've been having itong mga Instagram reels and videos uh, being heavily engaged. Aha. Uh-huh. Meaning, mas madami kang views Maraming and views likes. siya. And yeah. comments, and even friends would comment, and even yung mga sobrang jologs uh, na, na, na mga posts and videos ko nagiging engaging para sa kanila. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Why do I think your posts are getting more traction these days? I don't know. Siguro you're showing your personality more. Mm-hmm. Um, and your creativity. You're actually creating content now. 
because creating content, I think, is an entirely different ball game. It requires creativity. It requires you thinking up ideas and bringing it to life by making a podcast or a video or a photo. Mm. As in creation, talaga siya. And I think that's what you're doing now. You're using your creativity. Meaning, you're writing skits, you're thinking up new ideas, you're thinking of funny situations that people can relate to, and then you're bringing that to life. Yeah. Marami kasing nagsastruggle with that, di ba? Yung content creating. Uh, I, gusto natin na yung kinikreate natin content mag, ano, mag, mag viral or maraming mag-share, maraming mm-hmm. mag-comment and, 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 and whatnot. Iba lang sa atin yun kasi trabaho natin yun. And we really have to do that because that's how, you know, that's how we we make a living. Yeah, but I think that's the difference. I think for the longest time, you saw it like that, eh, Now you have to do it. Mm. Ngayon kasi I can see that you're finding joy in it, eh. Yeah. And that's what I've always told you, diba na People can sense it, eh. People can sense if the content that you're creating is something that you find joy in. Oh. And it translates into the videos that you're creating. Parang feeling ko before, since hindi ka naman talaga vain as a person, parang hindi mo talaga na-enjoy yung content creation. Eh. Parang wala siya sa second nature mo na mag-picture or gumawa ng video or mag It's just not... It's funny that I'm saying it now because I know a lot of people will be like, impossible. <laughs> Pero ganun ka talaga as a person. Wala talaga sa nature mo yung... I want to look good and create something that looks good. Wala hang ganun eh. So for the longest time, I see you creating content out of necessity. Because you nga, you keep saying it's for work. Which is, it, it's true naman. It's part of our work. Yeah. But ngayon kasi, nakikita ko na na-enjoy mo. And feeling ko na-enjoy din ng mga tao. Dahil nakikita na lang nag enjoy ka. Na-enjoy natin. At saka yung, yung specifics about it is syempre parenting journey with Liam. Yeah. And uh, husband and wife humor is always just so funny. Even I am entertained and drawn to... Tuwang-tawa siya sa mga ideas niya. <laughs> Tuwang-tawa siya sa mga jokes Habang niya. Habang inaiisip ko pa lang, natatawa na ako. Oh my God. Pero marami akong, ano, ah, marami akong mga fina-follow rin mm-hmm. na ganun rin yung, yung likes of their content. Like, I don't know if kung mapapakinggan niya to, I, I'm such a fan of this random... Uh, I, I just saw his videos random. See, Kladge and Mitch vlogs. Sobrang na-entertain ako dun sa guy. As in, sobrang nakakatawa talaga siya. Uh, ganun din, pinapakita niya na sobrang under niya. Um, for full disclosure, totoo po yung nakikita niya sa mga video na yun namin. Under po talaga ako. <laughs> I'm blinking for help. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. Pero... Hindi naman. Situational. It's Sabihin situation. mo yung totoo mo, Wancho. Ano yung situational totoo Situational siya. Yung totoo. Love, love. Tingnan mo ako sa mata. Di ba? Situational siya. Ano? Pinapag-submit mo lang ako. Hindi. Hindi. Di ba? Totoo. Situational siya. Hindi. Diba? Sobra sinungaling. <laughs> hindi ka hindi ka under at all. Gusto mong malaman kung under ka. Ia under kita for like a, a week. And they, what I'm trying to say is in general, okay. So it's, since uh-huh. we know, in we general know, what? In general what? In ge- State the facts. In general, it this is a very loving <laughs> relationship. God-fearing relationship. It's a very loving and God-fearing relationship. But but uh-huh. There will always be circumstances. Like when? <laughs> okay, okay. Let me think. Let me think. You see, if you were under, meron ka ng idea of the times that you were under. Hindi ka under. Like, you just want to, you want to think that you are, but you're not. Ano siya eh? Mahirap siya describe. Tignan mo! It's Wala much... Talaga. It's a... Uh, hindi it's, kasi talaga. It's a feeling. Hindi talaga. <laughs> Sobrang hindi. <laughs> it's a feeling. Never kitang pinagalitan na lumabas ka with your friends. Never kitang pinagbawala mag-basketball. Unless nung pandemic time yun na talagang height of the pandemic. Never kitang pinigilan mag-PS4. Never, never nothing. Any of those under things. It's a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Babalik ako dun sa it's a feeling po. So, takot ka lang sa akin. It's a feeling po, mga kaibigan. Hindi... Okay, okay, okay. Fine, okay, fine, fine. fine. I'm not under. 
<laughs> I'm not under. But, 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 I acknowledge that I love and respect my wife a lot. That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different that thing. I am also, uh, hindi afraid dip. I respect her decision na parang mas careful ako. Okay, okay. I get, nakuha ko na yung thoughts ko. Okay. Inuuna Kaya ko yan. yung mga needs mo before. I My mean, wants. as any spouse should. Whether Kaya you're a husband under. or Kaya a wife. Kaya under, di ba? Yung feeling, siguro. Tingin mo. It's so very... <laughs> okay, for example. Okay. Sobrang hindi under si Wancho. Pero gusto niya maging under na nagdala siya ng webcam nung nag-lock in taping siya. Tapos sinet up niya sa room niya. Tapos binigyan niya ako ng link access. Tapos sabi niya, love, i-check mo na lang ako anytime. Gusto mo kong i-check ka. Tapos para ako, ah, uh, okay. Tapos, ilang araw hindi ko binubuksan yung link. Siguro na-realize mo. Tapos sabi mo, love, hindi mo ba chine-check yung link? Tapos para ako, Ah, uh, hindi. Kasi, I trust you. I don't really care what you're doing. If you say in the, if you say you're busy, I trust you. Like you're like that. But I do agree that you're a very good husband because you put a lot of my needs before your needs. Okay, let's just go with that. But you're not under. Let's again. go. With By the in the general definition of an under person. Uh, You're just not. We are in an equal loving marriage. I would like to yes, say. Yes, that, that's what I agree mm. with as well. But, Mabait kaya akong asawa. Situational. Again, situational siya, di ba? Sobrang. Situational siya. Asa. That's <laughs> Sobrang asa. <laughs> okay, that was fun. That was a, that was a good 10 minutes of, uh, of my life <laughs> trying to explain. That you're not under. <laughs> my case of uh, funny content and kung ano yung gustong gusto na biro na usually ng mga generally husbands out there, even uh -huh. my friends. So, yeah. uh, there's a reason for it and uh, yeah, syempre may mga sa atin niya, generally speaking, we are loving, respectful marriage. Okay. We're not saying that yung mga, yung mga lalaking under hindi respectful yung marriage na. I'm just saying, we're very equal in this marriage. Like, we have equal say and things. Kasi ang definition ko ng under is, wala kang magagawa pag di ka pinayagan na asawa mo. Di ba? Oo. Oh, uh -oh. Ganun, ganun. Tawang-tawa yung mga kaibigan ko. Dahil, may ginawa akong magpakailanman episode last year na binubugbog ako ng asawa ko. Yeah, si Andrea Torres. Si Andrea Torres nag-portray ng role na yon, mm -hmm. and it's a true story na uh, na, na binigyan namin ng buhay. Mm -hmm. uh, tawang tawa sila kasi parang sure <laughs> it shows sa nagdaming memes ano ba sa daming mga clips na ganon yung feeling ganon yung ano under ako na nakikita yung mukha ko takot na takot kaya mm -hmm. ilang sa ilang group chat na screenshot yon at pina <laughs> pina uh, pinadala sa akin yung mukha ko parang yung ano parang ganon na uh, hampasin ako ni Andrea tapos parang takot na takot ako so ano siya nag nag replay pa siya last week kaya I had to relive that that uh, <laughs> that episode once again <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anyway, okay, so medyo patapos na tayo dito sa episode, sa pilot episode ng One on One Show podcast format. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Taray. It sounds so real. <laughs> Taray. And the last thing that I want to talk about is um, our recent struggles. Okay. Our recent struggles, Adam syempre. <laughs> syempre, just like like, like, <laughs> just like any other couple or uh -huh. human in this world, we, will, <laughs> we also have our fair share of tribulations. Mm -hmm. uh, hindi natin, we won't go into detail sa lahat ng yun, pero I have chosen four na we can speak, we can speak uh, two, <laughs> speak two. <laughs> Nandito siya sa ano online. Hello? Nandito <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, we can speak about. Okay. Yeah. So, number one. 
I wouldn't say okay, fine. Hindi siya masyadong struggle. Pero in general, uh normally it's a struggle. How is it? How is it now that we're parenting a one year old? That's a question. <laughs> I, I, I checked kasi ang pangit ng sulat ko. So, tinignan ko ba? Hindi <laughs> mo maintindihan. Tama ba yung... Okay, okay. That's a follow-up question. How was it now parenting a what? one-year-old Liam as compared nung mas bata siya? You say it's easier, di ba? You uh, always say that it's yes. much easier. Like, you enjoy it more, right? I enjoy it more dahil hindi na masyadong delegate si Liam. Yeah. Pero he, generally, he's still delicate. But hindi na delicate na parang pati yung position ng paghawak sa liig, alam mo yun, mm. or yung, yung ganun na sobrang sensitive ng skin ni Liam nung first few months niya. Yeah. That's why it's easier for me. Kasi parang bata na talaga siya ngayon. Na paglalaroan na yun. Oh. Na. Oh. I think for me, it's a little harder. Kasi... I'm coming to the realization na may other human being na tayong kailangan alagaan. Parang dati kasi parang siyang teddy bear eh. You know, I would just nurse him, I'll take care of him. I knew he was delicate but it was it was a physical thing and I could easily adjust to that. I could adjust to him needing baths and having sensitive skin and being more fragile. Ngayon kasi it's harder because I know he's another human being that needs a lot of other care. Mm-hmm. Like, nakikita ko na, na napipick up niya na kung paano tayo magsalita. Kung paano tayo makipaghalubilo sa mga tao. Like, he's starting to mirror us. He's starting to be more talkative. He's starting to be more active. I can see him forming his ideas of the world and that just terrifies me. Yeah. You know? So, it's so much harder for me now kasi I want to be intentional talaga with Liam. And that's why I always ask you, diba, are we spending enough time with him? Mm-hmm. Even if I'm spending time with him 24-7, iniisip ko is, am I being intentional enough in spending time with him? Am I teaching him enough? Tapos ang dami lang things to consider ngayon. Like, kinoconsider ko na, okay, paano ba iwi-win? I mean, mag-uunti-unting bu- tumigil yung breastfeeding sa gabi. Kasi para tumire-diretso na yung tulog nating lahat, di ba? Tapos, anong gagawin ko? Ipapotty train ko na siya. Um, an- nakakakain ba siya ng enough na pagkain na kailangan niyang kainan? He started being a picky eater already, which I never had to deal with before because he just ate whatever I gave him. Ngayon na, uh, identify niya na na ito gusto ko to, ito hindi ko gusto. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's it's been really hard. But, I love it. And I think it's still the most beautiful thing in the world. And we were having this conversation the other day na, oh, just yesterday when we had our date night, na parang I cannot compare the joy and satisfaction that I get from being a wife and a mom to the successful career that I have. Mm-hmm. Parang, if I were made to choose na, oh, do you want to be even more successful than you are now, but you can't have your family? It's like, it's crazy to me to think na I'll choose career. It's so, it's so stupid. Like, if I love my career, it's a beautiful journey and it's one of the best gifts that God has given me. But if you compare it to being your wife and being Eliam's mom, it's nothing. Like, mm. It's not even a smidge of it. That's how beautiful it is to be building this family and this life with you. And that's why I was telling you, diba, na parang, I find it so important to talk about building a family, especially for other people who are pursuing successful careers and would always say, ah, hindi, next time na ako magpa-family, ito muna yung path ko, ganyan, ganyan. I think that's a good and sound way of looking at things. Pero I cannot encourage them enough to build a family. I mean, if you're going to start a family the way that God has intended, ha, it's so easy and it's so beautiful. Um, there are challenges pag iba yung set up, iba yung ano, pero it's still beautiful. It's still the most beautiful thing that I can ever think of. So Yeah. Ganda. Medyo uh, gumawa po ako sa, ano, sa paningin ko. Uh, sa <laughs> ko dahil sinabi mong mas, uh, mas trip mong... Mas maganda yun. Uh, mas maganda yung uh, nararamdaman mong fulfillment na bilang asawa ko as compared to other stuff. And having said that, and dami na nating naririnig just like what you alluded to yung uh, career 
uh, all of these other things. And tayo, as a family, we've always believed in our priority list being God first and then ang pinakaimportante uh, after that is husband and wife, spouse, uh, children, dependents, all children. <laughs> Bakit dependents? Parang kasama eh, si Bowie at Basie. Hindi, ano kasi kaka-fill up ko lang ng bank loan na documents. <laughs> eh. So yun yung pagka-categorize sa <laughs> mga yeah. anak ko. Dependents. And um, susunod doon yung work supplementation and then ministry. Everything else, yeah. Everything, everything else. Uh, nakasama yung ministry, kasama yung other people. Are you having a hard time? balancing these things na in theory meron 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 na tayo et, eto na pero when life hits you and you you have to you're being pulled in multiple different directions nahihirapan ka ba na oh my gosh yes yes and no yes and no mm. yes because it's hard to balance it, the key to life is balance diba but it's hard. Like you said, in Fury, it's great to have that priority list. In action, it's hard to actually do that. To make sure that you put God first, and then your spouse second, and then your kids after, and then your work after that. I think I've been, I've become very good at deprioritizing my work. I mean, I hope you'd agree, the right? from when we were still single, grabe yung priority ko sa work as in it was the most important thing in my life. Even when I had you already as my boyfriend, I just cared more about my work because we weren't married yet. And then when we were married, yun yung struggle ng first year of marriage natin, eh, diba? Mm-hmm. Like God was teaching me to prioritize you more than my work. Kasi ayoko mag-baby pa nun, diba? Dahil sabi ko, gusto kong mag-work pa, ipon pa tayo, I want to be more successful, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. I don't want to have a baby yet. But you wanted it already the moment that we got married so parang god taught me during that first year of our marriage na i have to learn to prioritize you and when i prayed about it dun ako nagkaroon ng peace na i should prioritize what my husband wants and i should consider wanting to have a baby and beautiful that we did because now we have Elia, diba um not hard because i get to do it with you i think it's hard to learn to prioritize with all of these things kung walang constant reminder na anjan ka. You know, we get to do our devos. We, you give me reality checks na, oh, you're doing too much work or you're getting yourself too tired or you're not prioritizing me. Mm. You say that to me sometimes, mm. diba? Na dapat ikaw yung inuuna ko more than Liam. And that's true naman. That's tama. Eh, na dapat yung marriage muna natin. Kasi yun yung foundation ng family natin, mm-hmm. ba? So, it's not hard in that way. Kasi you're a good leader. You're a good husband. And you're you're someone that's dependable. And at the same time, you're very gentle in correcting me. So, it's easier to learn to prioritize when you have an accountability partner, diba? So when you're single, that accountability partner can be your best friend or your mentor or someone that you trust. But when you're married, it's your spouse first and foremost. So it is hard because balancing is hard and there are a lot of struggles that I still grapple with on a day-to-day basis and a moment-to-moment basis. But since I have you as my accountability partner, it becomes easier. Mm-hmm. Pumogi ka na naman. <laughs> but that's true. I mean, that's my real non-showbiz answer to your non-showbiz yeah. question. De, well, ano talaga? Like, we've, all, we've always talked about it. It's it's really hard. Lalo na that, uh, syempre, we're also dealing with um, our uh, our mental struggles, our physical struggles, our yeah. spiritual struggles. It's not all the time Ganon eh. Alam mo yun, hindi siya, in theory, napakadali lang. In theory, dapat ganon yung mga bagay. In, in theory, dapat ganon yung mga bagay. Pero may mga times na parang, syempre, we, know, we both know how important it is to start the day off doing a Devo or even just talking about God and yung mga uh, insights and, and how we have been blessed recently. Uh, and on the other hand naman, Mad- sobrang daling ma-occupy 
at sobrang mapagod in taking care of a child na yeah. hindi na natin na hindi na natin mabigyan na pansin yung ibang mga bagay na mas importante in theory like going on a date and these 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 feelings are 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 so valid di ba na parang alam natin na, na parehas on on both sides of the spe- spectrum na yung husband and yung wife parehas silang sobrang pagod na pagod at wala na talaga wala na talagang time yun lang talaga mm-hmm. wala na talagang time pero naalala ko yung sinabi mo sa akin na in in the, the aspect of work na parang how do we do these things we ha- really have to carve out time mm-hmm. as in make time mm-hmm. na for a lack of a better uh, term. <laughs> term ba? By hook or by crook, this has to happen. Uh, uh, this has to happen. We need we need to sit down and talk. We need to go to therapy. We need to do a devo. We need to go out on a date. Five mm-hmm. minutes, ten minutes. It would progress as naturally as we have yeah. uh, up until now. Na parang, yun nga, hindi naman siya everyday uh, na kunyari si Liam the reason why I said na uh, mas madali siya ngayon kasi dati, tw- every 20 minutes gumigising, every 30 minutes gumigising, di ba may mga, may mga, may mga stints na gano'n. Yeah. And now kasi, two hours na kakatulog siya, mm-hmm. makakapa- makakasingit kami ng date, four hours makakatulog siya at night nang hindi na- nagigising or hindi gumagalaw, makaka- nakakaalis na tayo. Yeah. So, progression siya. Nalala mo before we would start off na parang magkakaroon lang tayo ng ano dito. 15 minute date. Dahil nagigising na si Liam oh, kaagad. Nalala mo yun yung dyan. Yeah. Yung mga oh, roses pa and then what not. And yun, not, nakaka-cut short yung dates natin. So, hindi siya, hindi siya linear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not linear. It's progression talaga eh. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. beautiful because I get to to um to experience that on a day-to-day basis. Na parang sobrang na-excite ako at this stage in our lives because I've been seeing the progression of Liam. I've been seeing the progression of you and the progression of our family thanks to devos, thanks to God, thanks to th- continuous therapy yeah. and all these other compounding things that we've been doing that have been helping us. So, ang ganda. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, marriage is hard work. It's funny because I'm, while I'm listening to you, I'm thinking, ano kayo isipin ng mga tao no, na, especially the single ones who would be listening to your podcast, ganun ba talaga kadami yung kailangan mong gawin for a marriage? Yes, guys. If you want your marriage to be happy and healthy, you have to work hard on it. It just, it doesn't just come. Like, it, ju- it doesn't just happen. Especially when you have kids now that we have a baby it's a lot of hard work and i think meron sa society natin ngayon na if you work hard on it ibig sabihin mahirap siya mm. but it's not it it's you work hard on it because you wanted to constantly be at a healthy state like working out you know if you want to constantly be healthy kailangan mong magpawis at maghirap every single day hindi siya pwedeng once in Every two months ka lang magwo-work hard on it. Nope. It's a constant process of getting better and going through that difficult process of being present and being intentional. So, ganun din sa marriage natin. I always get that question kasi na, ba't kayo therapy or bakit kayo ganun? Parang masyadong structured, kumbaga. Um, but it's that, eh. That's the reality. If you want to be good at anything, motherhood, work, marriage, Christianity even, you have to constantly show up for it. And I think that's what we're doing for our marriage. So I'm really proud of us for that. Discipline. Yeah, you discipline. Me structure kasi well, siya eh. Have you, have you ever heard of a talented husband? <laughs> Wala eh. Everybody just has to show up. Yeah. Di ba? So yeah. it's it's talent and hard work. And in this case in the structure of the or in the realm of marriage it's just hard work there's no there's no such thing as a talented yeah. <laughs> talented husband or kung meron man good for you but you know this this works out for us it's you know hopefully we get to con- by the grace of god alone we get to continue and um always have the heart for improvement okay so i guess that's all the time that we have Sabi ko, 20 minutes lang. Oh, nga eh. 
44 minutes. 44 minutes. Yung 20 minutes na yun, baby, intro mo pa lang yun sa gusto mong pag-usapan eh. <laughs> <laughs> On a regular basis. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, this was fun. This was fun. This was fun. Thank you for uh, allowing me after all the strings that I've pulled. Hindi, of course. Okay, sorry. Anyway, thank you again. Sana ma-enjoy nyo to mga next na few episodes. Marami ako na, nakaline up na guests. So, abangan yun. Exciting yun. Marami ako friends that would come through the podcast and chop it up with regards to family, faith, and everything under the sun. Everything else in between. <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Paalam. Paalam.